hello guys welcome to webkin host and today i'm gonna show you how you can make a website uh, with a free domain name uh, within few steps even without uh, uh, knowing the coding you can create an awesome website for your business by following the steps that i will mention so first of all we will get a free domain with web hosting uh, then the next step we will install the wordpress from cpanel then we will install the theme and required plugins and at the end we will customize that uh, website so you have to follow all steps uh, carefully and uh, you have to watch the video uh, till end okay so you know living in the digital world today a website is now a necessity for the business if you have a business and uh, you do not have a website you are probably losing a number of great opportunities for your business getting started with a professional website for your business doesn't have to be hot in this video tutorial i will guide you step by step how to make an awesome website for your online presence in just few minutes so before start uh, you have to subscribe my channel like this video and also don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you remain updated from uh, other videos and uh, just follow all steps carefully in case if you have facing any issue or problem just comment your issue or problem below this video i will guide you and will help you how to resolve that issue so our first main step will be uh, getting a free domain and a web hosting well in order to set up your website you are going to need two things uh, the first one is domain name and second one is web hosting for your understanding uh, a web address like your site.com facebook.com youtube.com these are the domain names that will represent your business secondly you need a web hosting uh, a service that connect your site to the internet in order to store your images content and website files you are going to need web hosting without web hosting your website will not be visible on the internet now i'm going to tell you from where you will get a free domain for your website uh, before that please subscribe my channel by clicking uh, this red button and uh, also like my video now to get a free domain for your website just open your browser and type the domain uh, type webcan.com and uh, scroll down you you will see the different packages from here uh, you will see your current country currency if you are in United States you will see the currency in dollar if you are in another country then you will you will see the respective currencies so from here we will we will choose a plan and just click on this button and the type uh, the domain name here uh, that you want to purchase let's suppose I am looking for this domain and we'll select extension then click on the uh, check button yes this domain is available click on the continue button uh, click on the continue button again just ignore these steps this is not not important okay you can see that the domain uh, registration is free uh, and the only cost is for the hosting package that is uh, $12 click on the checkout button okay fill this form by entering your first name last name uh, these are the fields that are required to register your account so fill all these required fields including your address uh, your phone number or email that is most important because uh, you may need to recover your account if you forget you will also get all emails on your uh, email address so try to uh, enter the right email address also After entering the strong password, uh, you will see the different payment methods. You can choose PayPal, credit card, and the other uh, respective payment method that you will see. Uh, it depends on your country in which you are living. Payment method will show according to that. So choose uh, your payment method and uh, click on order button. It will navigate to the payment gateway. If you have a PayPal account, you can pay via PayPal. Uh, otherwise you can see the other payment options that is available on the website you can pay that will be easy for you 
Okay, after payment, you will see a uh, invoice, and uh, it may take up 30 to uh, 30 minutes to one hour or two hour to active your account. Uh, you can check your domain by typing in a browser if your domain. If you see this message, that means your account is active. And uh, once you have uh, your domain name and set up your hosting, you are well on your way. Now it's time to get your website up and running. Uh, the first thing you will need to do is to install your WordPress on your domain. For that, uh, again go to the website, just click on the login button. Enter your email address and password that you created few minutes ago. After login, click on here, uh, click on services. You can find here I have one service. Just click on this. Now from here, click on this package that uh, I have purchased few minutes ago. Scroll down and from the left hand side, you will see the option of login into your control panel. You can also see the option of uh, web mails that you, have, that, that, uh, you can create for your business. You can also upgrade your package. For now, just click on the control panel button. So here is a C panel. From here, you can handle your all details. Let's suppose in first section, we have file manager. In this file manager, you can upload your all content, images, etc, etc. Uh, this is the section of database. Here we will add, create, remove databases in future. You can also create email for your business from here. Okay, here is the WordPress icon. Uh, we're looking for just click on this Now click on the install button uh, From here choose your domain if you have multiple domains you can choose from that if you have single one that will be automatically show here and remove this WP uh, subdirectory Scroll down and uh, Right here the site name let's suppose uh, if you have hotel services I will type according to my business. You can add as per your requirements, what's your site represent. You can also add the description of your website also. Okay. Here you have to enter admin and the strong password for your WordPress. Also remember this username and password you will need this uh, when we will log into the WordPress. Uh, also add email address here and click on the install button. It may take a few seconds to install and uh, it will show a URL of your website. And we have a message of installation, congratulations. And here are the URLs it will navigate to the now go to the website URL we will check if WordPress is in installed or not yes this is our domain name that we have purchased that we have in and we install WordPress on this here you can see that uh, the WordPress installs successfully to log in into the WordPress uh, just enter admin and just add and just enter user and password so our next step is install the theme and the required plugins for that, we will go to the then okay. Uh, first of all, click on the popular button, then uh, type here. We are going to install this theme, Zakra. There are multiple themes, you can choose as per your requirements. Click on the active button. Now we have successfully installed this theme. Click on the get started with. After installing this theme and uh, after activation the, the plugins, you can find the multiple layout of these plugins. You can choose any of the layout that you think mm, that you like most. 
and uh, that you think very close to your business. There are some premium uh, layouts and some free layouts. Uh, for now, I will choose this one that is free and that is one page view. Just click on the import button and confirm. It may a few seconds to installing. Just wait and watch. Okay. Just click on the preview button and uh, we will see this. Look at this. This is awesome. What we have done? Nothing. We just install the WordPress. We just install the theme and active the plugins and we have a website. Okay, great. This is awesome design. One page design. There is about us, portfolio, services and testimonial sections. There is a contact us section. You can remove, uh, edit, update all these things. Look, when we click on the about, it uh, we, it navigate to the about section. Click on service, it navigate service section. Okay, now our uh, next step is to add the content, add our own text and images into the website. For that purpose, click on here, add it with Elementor. Now, go, uh, now you can see that the web page is in editable form. When you move the mouse, all the things are editable, including the text, images, each and everything. Let's suppose we are going to edit this uh, text. Just click on this and add your own text. Just click on this and uh, add your own text here. Wow. I will add best consultancy services in New York. You can add here any type of text as per your requirement. Similarly, I will, uh, I'm going to add a subtitle text. We are the best in our services. Similarly, you can change the background of this section. Click here. Then click on style. This is the image that we can change. We can upload image from media library, we can upload image from our uh, computers. I have uploaded from my PC. Click on the insert media. Now you can see that the image is updated. Okay, it's. Uh, I'm going to change the color of this text. Just click on this text, select Control A, click on style, and from here. You can update the color of your text. Wow. It is very easy like uh, MS Word. You are using MS Word. It's very easy. You can choose the color as per your requirements that you like most. Even you can, uh, even from here, even from here, even from here, you can edit the text. You can, uh, change the size of the text from here now scroll down and we are going to edit the next section that is uh, about us we can edit this image we can update it. just click on the image and from here uh, update the image that you want similarly you can update other images on this page now you can also this text just click on text and that will be edited just click on this text to edit Similarly, you can edit any text here by uh, just, click on, just clicking on the text. You can increase and decrease the size of the, these columns, just uh, uh, moving your mouse from right to left. That's very easy. Okay, this is a section of about a section and the second part mission, VN. Uh, you can update this text, even you can remove this section. This is very easy to use. Okay. Scroll down and uh, there will be the section of our team. You can also update uh, the images of your team. You can update the name of your images. Wow. It's very easy. You can just drag and drop. You can add more. You can remove. You can delete the section. You can do anything. In services like right button and click on the delete button. 
I suppose I am going to remove this action just click uh, now for this action I am going to change the color okay for this action you can change the image uh, from here like we done above you can also change this color that is uh, go to the background overlay and click here choose color as you want to okay this is the nice one wow now just click on the update button and your uh, site is updated okay after updating the content uh, we are going to change the logo of our website so click here click on the button change logo it will navigate uh, then click on upload file from here you can upload your own logo i have uploaded this one click on select button from here uh, you can edit your logo by cropping i just remove the blank space from logo sides okay click on crop image okay you can see that the logo is updated very successful you can see that the logo is updated click on the publish button from here you can also update the title of the website that we have entered at the time of wordpress installation similarly you can add more description okay go to back